All right, Shalom Amakim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yah Basham Al Shai, Basham Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. It's your brother Kanak once again doing an in, uh, entrapment video. And basically, I'm just going to turn on the recorder, and whatever the spirit comes out, you know, it comes out. So I actually have this, you know, this scripture in mind in Malachi. Malachi. Let me just get it real quick. Uh, this is Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And I was I was thinking about this because I was watching a video of a, um, the brother from uh, the elder brother from Las Vegas, and he uploaded another brother's video. I forget where the video where the brothers from, but basically he had a vision of America being destroyed. That was part of his vision: America being destroyed by those by those missiles. And he was given a description of what those missiles are going to do. To the to the wicked man, and that's a scary sight. And Lord's who I can get that in uh, Zechariah, that plague. You know, and that's not something that you want to experience. So we're we're trying to get prepared now, that we may be found, you know, uh, faithful to be saved through all that. So there is going to be a day. Okay. That's going to burn as an oven, one of those ancient ovens. What, what is that speaking about? Well, that's speaking about, you know, this thermonuclear war that's going to take place. So if you, even if you meditate upon that, the Lord is going to actually set it up to where all these nations are going to actually turn on America and shoot nuclear missiles, knowing that million, hundreds of millions of people are going to die, okay? For behold, that's how heavy the spirit is going to be during that time of war. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. This is, this is what's being prepared for, uh, you know, the, the proud and the wicked of America. Okay, because the only ones who are going to be delivered from this are the elect okay those are the only ones that are going to have that exemption from judgment those are only well the, those are only ones that are living meek upon the earth okay the, and what does the scripture say the meek shall inherit the earth so that's speaking about the Israelites the elect in particular and the day cometh that uh give me a second again and that and the day that cometh shall burn them up said the lord of hosts it shall leave them neither root nor branch so basically it's going how he's explaining it how even the cement was burning up you know everything was burning up and you and you uh you read in the scripture how the lord is going to leave this place desolate there's going to be no remembrance of anything built here in in, in babylon there's going to be no remembrance of it uh uh, uh physically Physically, there's going to be nothing here but a wasteland, you know? Let me bring out another scripture. It's literally going to be a wasteland. That's what's being prepared for Babylon, and that's how hot that heat's going to get, you know? That's how, that's how devastating those, uh, those nuclear missiles are to where it's, it's going to literally... Uh, 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 you know, peel back the skin, peel back the muscle, peel back the ligament, you know, all dis disintegrating it one, one at a time. You know, you're going to literally turn back into the elements, the periodic table. Okay, and we see, we, uh, we have an example of that. Okay, uh, Job's wife. And, that, and that, happened, that actually happened, but it's also symbolic of what's going to happen uh, and, 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 you know, in these days, let me bring out this scripture. Just give me a second. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the meads 
against them, those are talking about those Russians, man. And they have the highest level of technology. They have, uh, I want to call it hyper, I think they call it hypersonic or supersonic, you know, missiles to where they can attach warheads. And those things are going to get over here very quickly. You're not going to have time to prepare. You're not going to have time to go into a bunker. Furthermore, those bunkers going they they going to be null and void, especially here in America cuz uh you're going to have the earth is going to rock to and fro. What shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. It's going to it's going to come a point to where you're not going to be able to pay those you're not going to be able to pay any nation off. You're not going to be able to pay the Russians off. Okay? Make a deal with them. They're, 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 they're ready for war, man. Their bows also shall dash the young men in, uh, men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Yeah, the, it's going to be so crazy that they're not going to pity. They're not going to pity uh, uh, anybody here in America, the hundreds of millions of people here. Okay, even you Israelites, they're going to shoot missiles on you Israelites. <laughs> these other nations. So that goes to show you that these other nations don't give a goddamn about you. Okay? They, they, they want to take out Esau. They, they're going to take out you Israelites too. So they're not going to have any... Uh, uh, they're not going to have any pity during that day. Verse 19, and, the, and Babylon is speaking about uh, the daughter of Babylon, which is America. The glory of kingdoms. This is the greatest kingdom. The beauty of Chaldees' excellency. Yeah, the work of the elites. This is, this is, the, this is their masterpiece right here. Shall, shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And how did, how did that happen? Uh, fire and brimstone, as the scriptures say fire and brimstone so that's what's being prepared for babylon that's the day that's going to burn as an oven fire and fire and brimstone now the modern fire and brimstone now through the technology the lord gave esau that same technology to put into a, a you know a device in, which is the, the, the you know the, the warhead and a in a in a carrying mechanism you know with the boosters and I don't know all the terminology of how, you know, the nuclear missile, you know. But the Lord gave gave Esau that same technology of splitting the atom. Like how he rained fire and brimstone on uh on Sodom and Gomorrah. So that's how this place is gonna go out. And you can't you can't go and pinpoint where Sodom and Gomorrah is at. Okay, you can't say, Oh, there, there, there's a building there that's left there's remnants of uh civilization. No. The only thing that you're going to find is uh, sulfur and, and basically uh, materials of uh, materials, elements of fire and brimstone. That's what you're going to find. Which, which proves what? That, that that actually happened. Okay. Shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt. And from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. So Babylon, with those with those missiles, they're going to be shot off from the four corners of the earth, starting with Russia, Iran, okay, uh, Esau's allies over there, uh, uh, EU, NATO, okay. This place is never going to be inhabited. It's going to be that desolate. You're not going to be able to find a remnant of a gas station. You're not, you're not going to be able to find uh, an in, uh, in and out a Chick-fil-A, uh, a, a sporting arena, arena. You're not going to see remnants of the, uh, the White House. It's going to be desolate. And nobody's ever going to be able to dwell here or step foot here ever again for all eternity. Okay, what is it going to be used for? But wild beasts of the desert uh, shall lie there 
and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate place, in desolate houses, and dragons in their desolate places. And her time, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So the days of Babylon being destroyed, they're not going to be prolonged. Okay, the days of, uh, 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 you know, the prophecies, so-called Tarian, or you believing that they're Tarian, they're not going to, they're not going to prolong anymore. Okay, yeah, they're coming to pass right now as we speak. And the day when Babylon is going to be a, a desert full of doleful creatures, okay, and, and wild beasts of the desert, that's not going to be prolonged. Okay, so that day where, which is going to burn as an oven, and let's get just a description of how hot that fire is going to get, and what it what it can do to flesh. Okay. This is uh, Zechariah 14, 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, Esau, and the other nations. And two-thirds and two -thirds of our people, because they fought against the prophets. They fought against, uh, uh, they, they fought against the, he uh, the Heavenly Father. Okay, by what? By slaying the prophets. By not listening to the word, by rejecting, by, by rejecting his son, they actually fought against. They came up against uh, uh, Jerusalem. Okay, they came up against their own people. Because even though we we are, you know, the whole nation of Israel is is one nation, with all the tribes, there there is a a nation of the Most High, or there is an Israel of the Most High, a Yasha Allah of the Most High. Okay, which is that that's the remnant, the the elect. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. That's how hot. That's how hot that oven's going to burn. OK, to where it's going to be able to disintegrate, you know, the elements off your body while, while you still be uh, alive, while you're still alive. And, and you it can be since it's going down to the cell, who knows how much pain that's going to be. The most I can intensify it. Okay? Let me read that part again. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So that's going to happen while you're alive. All your, your eyes, your, your flesh, your tongue, they're literally going to be consumed. By this fire, it's going to just burn it. That's how hot that fire is going to be. And it shall come to pass in the day, in that day. Uh, now that that was basically it. That was basically it. That that's that plague. That's that ultimate plague, which the Lord is going to send. You know, a plague of of you know, the diseases. You know, that's going to be a plague also. Yet that ultimate plague is those are those missiles. The fire in that brimstone. Okay. So yeah, that, that was it on the lesson. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Uh, you know, keep keep pushing. Keep fighting. Shalom.